no plans, no plans at all Evil man's always transcending Fight her like sheep, swallow everything Always simple tins or pretending This is your moment of clarity from LeeCamp.net I've ranted before about the amount of time we spend over the course of our lives having advertising beamed into our skulls. Over an 80 year lifespan, we spend roughly 15 and a half years watching television, which is 15 and a half years you could have spent making love to a beautiful woman or paying for phone sex with a beautiful woman. But when I've talked about this before, I meant beamed into your skulls in the symbolic sense, not literally. Now, at least one company is planning on literally beaming ads into our skulls. But does exaggeration even exist anymore? Every time I exaggerate something, I feel like there's a soulish corporate douche sitting there going, excellent idea. Yes, that's right. Sky Deutschland has announced that they have created technology to silently present messages into passengers' skulls through bone conduction technology whenever someone rests their head against one of the train windows. No one hears the message except for you, completely silently. So basically, you lay your head down for a rest, and suddenly you, it, it, it's the voice of God telling you to check out the refreshing beverages in the snack car. And even though I'm an atheist, I would still be sad to see God stoop to selling nachos and french fries. But, you know, these are tough times. Plus, think about the poor borderline schizophrenic who was barely keeping things together as it was, and now he suddenly hears Sky Deutschland advertisements in his brain. Did you ever think about that, futuristic skull marketeers, huh? But more importantly, if this technology exists for when your head is against a simple window, I imagine it can't be long before they figure out bone conduction at other times. Possibly any time. And it brings up important questions of privacy, too. Are we entitled to our own thoughts? Should someone, a marketer, a company, a military, be allowed to put voices in our heads without our consent? I don't know about you, but my idea of true hell is having advertisements for vapid American mass media travesties, bad movies, slurpees, fast food, and empty cable news playing permanently in my thoughts. These are the types of issues we need to think about before the technology is here, before it's forced upon us. Where do we draw the line for privacy? I know a lot of people say, if you don't have anything to hide, then what are you worried about? Well, that may be the problem with a lot of people. They don't have any important thoughts to want to defend. A McDonald's ad conducted into their inner ear silently and directly against their will is as significant as anything they were thinking anyway. Hey, my thoughts about waffles were just replaced with an advertisement for waffles. Okay. That's been your moment of clarity from LeeCamp.net. The song I'm playing here at the end is the very straightforward We Will Rock Monsanto by Ron Fuller. The info's in the description. Also, several articles about the bone conduction technology are in the description. And lastly, if you have a podcast, radio show, or web series, you can play Moment of Clarity or the audio of Moment of Clarity for free. All I ask is that you email me at LeeCampMail, M-A-I-L, at gmail.com. Thanks a lot. Keep fighting. Monsanto, we must stop Monsanto. Monsanto.